Welcome back to this video. At this stage, you've looked at a few videos that I have done and you followed along maybe coding with me. But it's important also to look at some exercises and you try some of these uh, concepts on your own. So I've created this dot pad. So you, to get to this dot pad, you can go to bit.ly forward slash dot underscore ex1. So that's for example one. If you click on it and you go to that page, you see it's basically just a reference to one of my gists there that I've created. Okay, so this is exercise one and question one I want you to do, question two I want you to do and question three I want you to do on your own and then we'll quickly run through it also. So in question one you're going to use three variables declared below, so it's this uh, string name, int age and int price, there they are declared, already have values, you don't need to change anything there. So use the three variables declared below to print out the following to the console. So you'll need to print out Paul, which is using this name variable, is a 35-year-old, so it's using that age, 35, uh, paid $400. So there's the price, $400, to repair his father's car. So you can start your coding there. So you'll start with a simple print statement here and uh, see what you need to add into the print statement to actually print out that part using those three variables. Then go to question number two. Use only the two variables declared below to print out the following to the console. So there's your two variables declared. Temperature city early, so that's early in the morning's temperature, and the city's temperature later in the afternoon. So use only these two variables declared as doubles to print out the average temperature for the day is 2021 or 22.1 degrees Celsius. So you can see that there's no 22.1 there, but you need to use these two to work out the average, which is 22.1. But please note, only use the two variables that I give, have given you here. So find out how you can print out this 22.1 directly without declaring another variable. Question number three, create a variable below, or create three variables below to store a person's last name, his age and his salary. Then print the following to the console using those variables. So that Peters will be his last name. Then you're going to print out age and that 35 will be his age. And then you're going to print out salary and the salary year, that 100 or $1,555.35, that will be his salary. Uh, so you need to print out the following to the screen. But you're going to create your own variables. So in question 1 and 2, I created the variables for you. And in question 3, you need to go and decide how to declare those variables. Uh, which types type they're going to be. A last name, is it going to be an integer? Is age going to be a string or salary going to be maybe a boolean? We don't know. So we'll look at that quickly when you're done with this. Go and declare them correct and then use it to print out this line and you can see add your coding below below this line for this example you will start here with your print statement uh, after declaring some variables there and then for this one also for question number two you can see add your coding below that line so you can start your coding there so for now you can pause this video and i want you to please try out this before we carry on Right, so I'm, I'm sure that you are okay now and you could uh, do this 100%, so let's see how we can do this. So question number one, there's the three variables, name, age, and price, and we need to print out that sentence there. So obviously Paul is starting with the name variable. So I'm going to start with the dollar and then name, but remember it's a string, so it needs to be in either double quotation marks or single quotation marks. So now I've printed out the name, Paul. After the name, there must be a comma. Then the letter A, then 35 is the H. So I'm going to use the dollar sign with H to print out the H, which is 35. And then year old, just normal text. Comma again, paid again. But then we need to say the price, which is 400 there, and it should show $400. So if I say $400 here, uh, you can see that it, it's going to give me an error and the error here is because there's no variable named 400 and you can see there the age is a variable name is a variable and for that we can use string interpolation by referring to the variable but here we don't want to refer to the variable so I'm going to use the backslash there the escape character so I want to print out the dollar sign but then I do not want to print out 400 there 
I want to print whatever is stored in the price variable. So I'm going to add another dollar there and add price. So if you run this quickly, you'll see that it prints out. Let me just remove this print statement and also the one at the bottom. So if we run this, you can see it prints out the name, which is Paul, a 35-year-old paid. And can you see there's the dollar? So that comes from this escape character. And then I want to show what's in the variable, which is price, which is the 400 there. So I'm going to say dollar price, like we did here. Okay. And then the rest is just normal text. So we're going to say to repair his father. But now that single quotation mark, if you started with single quotation marks there, you will need to have the backslash single quotation with the S and then make sure you add your ending one as well. So that backslash there will then add that single quotation mark also as part of the string. Fathers, and then we start off or we end off with car. So if you want to see this in one line, there it is. It's This is how it should have looked. Or you could have used concatenation also, which would make it a lot longer. So this one is the best way to do it. So the name, Paul, a 35-year-old, paid $400 to repair his father's car. And if we run it, we should get the same output as what I've got there. Paul, a 35-year-old, paid $400 to repair his father's car. Right, let's look at question number two. Use only the two variables declared below to print out the following to the console. The average temperature for day for the day is 22.1 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to start here, and it's just a normal print statement. Let's start there. Print. Right, what do I want to print there? Some text. So in the text, it starts with the average temperature for the day. So let's start with that. Average temperature for the day is. And now we need to work out that 22.1. And then we're going to say again degrees Celsius. So in order to do that part, we're going to use the dollar sign. But because there's a calculation, I'm going to use the curly brackets or the curly braces. And then inside of that, I will do my calculation. And we know we need to focus on adding these two numbers first before we actually divide them by two. So I'm going to start with temp city early plus temp city late. And then the sum of those two I need to calculate first and then divide it by two. So this is maybe something, well, not totally new, but this is the whole uh, interpolation part where we have the dollar sign with the two brackets and the curly brackets there. And in between, we can do some calculations and then that will be added as text directly inside of your printout. Okay, and then we need to add degrees Celsius. So I'm just going to add there degrees Celsius. Now, if you don't like this uh, to be, you know, this, this type of printout, we can add maybe a semicolon, ach, it's not a semicolon, a single quotation mark there. Click on the enter and add a semi or a single quotation mark there again. So you have it in two different lines in coding, which reads a bit easier. But you can see when we print it out, it prints the same way. The average temperature for the day is 22.1 degrees Celsius. So what have I done there? I've used this string interpolation with the curly brackets in order to do my calculation. And I'm not creating another variable in memory. Great stuff. I can see that you've also got the exact same result there. Now let's go down to question number three. Question number three says, create three variables below to store a person's last name, his age, and his salary. Then print the following to the console using those variables. So let's just look at creating those three variables first. So somebody's last name is obviously a string. So let's call it last name. But now look at also the way that I'm creating my variable name. So have you done something similar? To start off with a lowercase and then every subsequent word of the variable, you start off with a capital letter. So I'm going to say string last name is, and to print out basically what we had here, I'm going to have this name as Peters, or this last name as Peters. 
So yes, person's last name must be declared as text, so that is a string. Right, so let's carry on. The next one, next variable there, uh, is the age. And we can see that the age is 35. So an age, you can you can maybe um, disagree with me here and say, well, an age needs to be a double. But normally on, on a form where you enter an age, you won't say 35 years and 10 months. So uh, let's just keep it as a normal integer. If you, if you had it as a double, it, it's not that wrong. So I'm going to say int age equals 35. So that's declaring an integer because it's a number to store the age. And then the salary is also a number, but salaries will come in decimal formats, which means that we need to use it as a double. So that's very important. And let's call it salary. And it is 1555.35. Right, so th this is basically how you should have defined your variables. And now let's go to the second part of this question. And it says we need to print out these this line using these variables. Okay, so Peter's first. So if I print out, Peter's first is the last name that we need to print out first. So remember, it must be in quotation marks, either double or single. Uh, okay, so this is single quotation marks. So I'm printing out the last name, then a space, sorry, inside of there, a space, and then I need to say age, and then the age of 35. So the age of 35, there's 35 there, so I'm going to use dollar and age. Okay, so now if we run this, you can see that you get an error here. And the error here is because if we go to the top, you'll see that we already have an integer called age there at the top. So let's just call this one age person. And then there we will also call it age person. And now if you run it, you can see it prints out Peter's age 35. So that's the first part. So then after that, we'll place a comma there. And then the word salary, colon. And then we need to show the dollar sign and the 1,555. So the dollar sign first will be the escape character to show the dollar sign. And then to show what is in the salary, we need to have dollar salary again. And that will show us the salary. And then we ended off with a PM for per month. Let's see how that prints out. Peter's age, 35, salary, $1,555.35 per month. Right, so that's uh, doing this exercise. So if there's any problems, make sure you go through this again. Watch this video again and make sure that you can work with normal variables and do some calculations on them and also using this dollar sign string interpolation and then your escape character in order to print out the way that you need to print it out. Thank you for doing this exercise with me. See you in the next one.